Today's story is I Love Cake. Welcome back. So today's book is making me very hungry. And I might just have to go make a treat when I get inside. Today's book is I Love Cake. Oh, I do love cake. Do you love cake? Let's read and see how Mr. Moose and his friends enjoy their cake. <laughs> Let's read. In the middle of Sweet Valley Woods lived Rabbit, Porcupine, and Moose. I am Rabbit. I am Porcupine. I am Frog. Just kidding. I am Moose. They were best friends. I'm good at being the boss. I'm good at having fun. I'm just Moose. And that's the way they liked it. That's the way we like it. One morning, Rabbit bounced out of bed extra early. Hooray, it's my birthday. She invited Porcupine and Moose to her party. Be at my house in one hour. Sounds fun. Cake! The three friends got ready. Rabbit grabbed her to-do list. I love throwing parties. Porcupine struck a party pose. I love playing games. Moose squeezed into his favorite sweater. I love boiled turnips. Oh, I do not. I love cake. Porcupine and Moose tried to make it to the party on time, but I can't find Rabbit's present anywhere. I can't get out the door. Bonk, bonk. Finally, they arrived at Rabbit's house. Happy birthday! This is for you. Come on, let's get started. First, the three friends jumped on the trampoline. Wee! Um, guys, sniff, sniff, is that what I think it is? Next, they played pin the tail on the chipmunk. No peeking, this is fun. Um... Then Rabbit and Porcupine heard a mysterious noise. What was that? Num, num, num. But Rabbit didn't give it much thought. She had an important announcement to make. It's time for cake! Hey, what happened to the cake? Oh no! And what happened to Moose? Rabbit and Porcupine looked everywhere for the missing cake and the missing Moose. At last they made a big discovery. Moose, there you are! Hey, are those cake crumbs on your fur? No, I don't think so. Rabbit and Porcupine gave Moose the look. What, you think I ate the cake? That hurts. Maybe a badger ate the cake. Did you ever think of that? Burp. I smell cake. I smell a rat. Rabbit and Porcupine only wanted one thing, and it was gone. All of that sniffling made Moose sniffly, too. Aw, why do you have to look so sweet and adorable and... I can't take it any longer. Maybe I had one bite of cake, but that is all. I only wanted to make sure it was okay. That's fine, right? It is my fault. My mouth's so big that the whole cake kind of fell right in. I'm really sorry. Can we all still be friends? Pretty please, I beg you. We can get matching sweaters. What do you say? Rabbit got hopping mad. You ruined my whole party. Porcupine got prickly. This is no fun. Moose got the message. Back at home, Moose thought of ways to make it up to his friends. Flowers, poetry, a singing gorilla, but nothing seemed quite right. Then Moose noticed something on his fur. Aha! He went right to work. Later that day, Moose returned to Rabbit's house. Surprise! Rabbit and Porcupine tried to ignore Moose, but Moose was just so Moose. Rabbit loved the surprise. I love cake. Porcupine loved the surprise. I love cake. Moose loved the surprise exactly as much as he loved cake. I love cake, but I love sharing it with friends even more. The end.